Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Annie Rong. I'm a junior in computer science with a minor in art and design. Uh, some of my hobbies are to draw, as always, to doodle in class, to read. Um, also love Taylor Swift, sorry, and also play World of Warcraft, <laughs> guilty pleasure. Uh, my campus involvements are that I'm a vice president of Women in Computer Science, and I'm also an active member of the campus honors program. Uh, my mentor at NCSA is the lovely Donna Cox. And for a fun fact, I made a beef wellington this Thanksgiving by following Gordon Ramsay's YouTube tutorial. It was delicious, and I would highly recommend to anyone. So my projects, at, or I work at the Advanced Visualization Lab, which works to bring art and technology together hand in hand to create these beautiful and engaging visualizations for, uh, of scientific wonders. And for me, given my art and technology background, I thought I found my perfect match. Uh, so my current project is called the Virtual Director and YT Integration. Um, I'm currently working with Mingwei Hu, who, who you'll hear from later on. And basically, we have this brand new technology by Dr. Matt Turk. Uh, it's very fast. It's a parallel software rendering system. And we're also have, we also have the Advanced Visualization Labs Virtual Director camera. And we're working to integrate that to provide uh, comprehensive and easy to use applications for all its users. So I'm responsible for the front end development of this application. And the reason we're doing this project is because the cur uh, currently we're using very complicated command line tools along with uh, existing IPython notebooks to kind of control YT. And that's, it's, it's doable, but not every one of our users is gonna be able to do that. And you have to remember that our users can include people all the way from students to teachers to like really, really smart <laughs> science researchers. So we're trying to figure out something that everyone can be pleased with. And so part of that is the challenge, which is figuring out what exactly should go into the front end, what exactly doesn't need to be in the front end, and also the implementation details. Um, some of the tools I'm using right now is WX Python, which is a Python library built on developing widgets that are robust and easy to use, and also JavaScript and jQuery, because we're going to make this a website. So that's my project. And if you don't fully understand what I'm talking about, you'll hear more about this in the next two presentations. So have fun. <laughs> Thank you.